Welcome back to Tain Slade Info. In view of India's increasing role in the Indo-Pacific and Indian Ocean region, the Indian Navy has been pushing for high-altitude long-endurance drones. As an initial push, we know that India is in advanced stage of talks with the United States to purchase 30 MQ-9B predator drones for all the three defense forces. Even for this particular deal, as per the regular mode of procurement, India is looking for a technology transfer so that these high-altitude long-endurance drones can be built indigenously. So far, there is no confirmed news about the approval of this particular deal from the United States. According to me, I am sure that United States will not be doing all the core technology transfer for manufacturing these high-altitude long-endurance drones in India. And we have seen this even during the discussion of co-developing the next generation engines for the future fighters of India. India should concentrate more on developing the high altitude long endurance drones, unmanned aircraft, so that we don't have to spend huge amounts on these drones and also need to wait for so long to procure them. There are a couple of options in which India can put more effort and expedite the development. The first option is available with the DRDO and the other one has been proposed by Adani Defense. We will be seeing both these offers one by one in a quick manner. DRDO has confirmed that they can work on high altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle and would be able to come up with a prototype much easily since they have already gathered the required expertise and experience while working on the Tapas medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle. While working on the Tapas and the Rustam 1 unmanned aerial vehicle program, DRDO's aeronautical development establishment members have created NF technology to establish satellite communication and also validated systems like the automatic takeoff and landing and also the propulsion system. So DRDO feels that these technologies and systems can be easily reconfigured to come up with the high altitude long endurance unmanned aircrafts. Now coming to the other option which has come from Adani Defense, Adani Defense along with Israel's Elbit system has proposed to develop a high altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle for the Indian Defense Forces. The Herms 900 medium altitude long endurance is made in India by the Adani group for the export market and Adani is planning to build the high altitude long endurance variant of this particular drone based on the same platform. Even though these talks are still not materialized, we need to wait and see if India comes up with a prototype of high altitude long endurance drones at the earliest so that they don't have to spend huge money for importing these UAVs from foreign countries. I'll be uploading another video once I get more information about these unmanned aerial vehicle drones of India. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslayer Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.